Today I'm very excited to introduce to you guys a special guest on my channel. She's a YouTube phenomenon. Uh, Shruti Anand. Woohoo! Uh, it's like a lakh ke kareeb kuch subscriber base hai. Ye formula kya hai? Mujhe batana. Main to abhi tak saath mene mein to main 5000 pe atka hua hu. To I need a, the formula. Kya hai? Regular videos upload. करना पड़ता okay, है regular videos. थोड़ी वैरायटी लानी होती है ताकि ऑडियंस uh, जो है वो हमेशा एंगेज रहे आपके वीडियोस में आप उनके कमेंट्स को वैल्यू कीजिए और रिप्लाई कीजिए और अगर वो कुछ बता रहे हैं कि उनको कमी लग रही है तो वो चीज अगर आप ध्यान में देते हो तो वो अप्लाई करने चाहिए हां तो ये बहुत वैल्यूएबल फीडबैक रहा um, definitely taking that on board thank you Exactly. So today's episode is a special collaborative effort. We're going to have two episodes actually, one on her channel and one on mine, and they're both for Diwali. So you guys who want to know how to dress up for Diwali, this is quick few easy steps. So we're going to start with applying some moisturizer just to prep Shruti's skin. I'm going to massage that into her skin. Moisturizer is always a great idea, even if you have oily skin. You can use an oil-free moisturizer. That will give you the ultimate finish for your makeup. So I'm gonna take some foundation. Pick any foundation, whatever you're comfortable with. I like liquid foundation because I want to keep it quite luminous and transparent. Buffing that into the skin. Okay, so this is done. Next, taking any concealer and just hiding some of the darkness, concealing some of that around the eyes. Now what I'm gonna do is create a smoky eye. Let's just say a glamorous looking smoky eye. So something that's a bit Diwali-esque. It is the festival of lights. So I want the skin to look like it's taken in a lot of light. Now I'm going to take some powder and just dust off the excess shine. Taking my deep bronzer. Again, you can use any bronzer. I like using a matte bronzer because there's less shine involved. Just going to contour her cheekbones. Really pull out those cheekbones with a nice strong contour. And also define the jawline. Don't forget to blend into the ears. You don't want it to look like a strong line on the side. You want to blend it into the ears and into the temples. Taking some fresh pink and using that as blush on the cheeks. So I'm taking a gel uh, eyeliner. I'm just going to put that very close to her lash line. You don't have to go all the way with the pencil because I'm going to go all the way with the smudger brush. And I'm going to just smudge this eyeliner before it dries. So why we smudge it is just to give it a little bit of softness so it's not too severe or hard looking. Strengthen that line near the lashes just a little bit. Now I'm going to fill in Shruti's eyes with some Kajal pencil. So just all the way from right there, one corner to the other. I'm going to take dark brown eyeshadow and just rub it below her lashes to smudge even that out. Melting that Kajal away into this brown eyeshadow. Give it a bit of a smokiness. Like so. Now I'm going to take a fluffy rounded brush, small. Take some of that bronzer, okay? And just put that on the inner corners of her eyes, right there. Circular, circular, rounded motions. And blend it's like you're massaging my eyes. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> Taking the same brush, I'm picking a gold eyeshadow, and just rub that only on the middle of the eye, so slightly. What this does is brings out the middle of the eye, gives it that roundedness. Such beautiful eyes you have. Thank you. I love curling lashes, so. I'm going to go in with some mascara. You like using lashes, right? I've seen on your channel, yes, you like using I lashes. I love false lashes. <laughs> so I'm going to use false lashes also, after <laughs> using some mascara. Do you use uh, fingers to put them on or you use a tweezer? Tweezer. Mm. I'm taking a brow pencil. Just going to go in and draw some strands right there. Now for a second coat of mascara to marry the falsies with her own lashes. And I think I'm going to put some on the lower lashes as well. Before we do the lips, I thought I'm going to just contour her nose a little bit more. There's more drama. 
Initially, I thought I'd do a nude mouth, but then your face is really beautiful. It's taking on makeup so lovely. So I'll, I'll maybe mix a few pinks. Nom, nom, nom. I'm taking that brow pencil, which has a lovely mole here, which I'm going to just exaggerate a wee bit. And to end and make this a little bit more indie, um, take a small bindi and maybe use this bindi. Let's see how this looks. So I'm going to just flip Shruti's hair. Let's see which side it falls better on. Oh, I quite like this. Oh yeah, that's falling very beautifully. I like the way that looks. That's how I like to add some quick oomph and sexiness to an otherwise very conventional Diwali look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I've enjoyed uh, Shruti's company. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to both her channel and mine. She does some gorgeous tutorials as well on henna, nails, makeup and hair. It's quite a lot there. Full beauty parlor as it were. <laughs> yeah. So do you have any message you'd like to give my audience? Yes, I am so honored to oh, get my makeup done by you. Thank and you. And don't okay. forget to subscribe him, okay? It's, um, it, uh, it will mean a lot to me. So. Oh, and to me. So thank you so much for watching. See you on the other side. This tutorial today is especially for that front row fashion ready look.